Up next is Ascensionism. Hauntingly good, dude. You want You can hear it. Someone. You can hear how good his voice is when he sings. The passion that he puts your into singing is ridiculously good. This dude has been hurt a lot. And I can hear it in his voice. He's tired, he's exhausted. So you say what you want then leave. I believe he cries at the end of Bloodsport on sundowning, right? Yeah. These guys know how to grab the attention of their audience. I will tell you that. You're on the edge of your seat when you listen to this band. You never know what you're gonna get next.
not kidding when he said this is the best song of the album. Wow. Bro, I'm speechless. I have nothing else to say. I'm fucking speechless at that. How good that was. I'm speechless at how good that was. Literally. Dude. Jesus. God, this is cutting into my head right now. Oh. Oh, fuck. Alright. Got to tighten this up. I'm speechless, dude. Speechless. That song, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Nothing I ever expected from this band. This band is a melting pot of so many influences. It is ridiculous. They can have a song that sounds like rap switch straight into just a straight fucking metalcore deathcore style fucking eight string nine string I don't even know what the fucking guitars he's using dude but holy shit man it's gonna be so hard for me to pick my favorite band between Stoneside and Sleep Token because both of them are right at the top I, I just can't pick I can't pick dude both of them are so fucking good in this genre, it's ridiculous. And I don't even know what you would call this genre. For me, it's a mixture of ambient, core, jazz, and fucking ambient. I already said ambient. Fucking uh, symphonic or some shit. I don't know. But it's, it's very melodic. I think I, if I had to place Sleep Token in a genre, if I really had to place them in genre, I'd place them in three different genres. It's melodic, ambient, core, Jazz. I think that's what this album would probably be. Um, but we're going to jump into the next one. 